Even the women's soccer team, the woman yes. with the purple hair, she yes. wasn't a fan of mine. She said negative things and then she lost. Yes. Because woke means you're a loser. Right. Everybody ultimately loses with woke. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, feminism is still not entertaining. Uh, it's still one of the most poisonous things that Hollywood can inject into a movie, and they just keep doing it anyway. They are absolutely so certain that, that that's what people want to pay their money. They want to pay $15 a ticket, then they want to go pay $11 for a bucket of popcorn and $7 for an icy, and go sit and be told men bad. I'm not kidding. Well, that line of thinking has led to literally one of the biggest box office flops in U.S. history. And it was a feminist movie. Now, despite rave reviews from those critics who are really, really definitely being um, fair and balanced in their reviews, literally nobody saw this movie. And it's absolutely hilarious. And we're going to get into that story after a quick word from this video sponsor, Bond Charge. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Bond Charge. This is such an exciting time. Blue Blocks is, of course, now called Bond Charge. Bond Charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every way. It's founded on science and inspired by nature. If you're like me, you spend a lot of time in front of the screen and Bond Charge has a absolute ton of products to help with that. They have computer glasses that have clear lenses that uh, aim to help with headaches, sore eyes, digital eye strain, light sensitivity glasses with the yellow lenses that aim to help with migraines and stress and things of that nature. And then of course they have their world famous blue light blocking glasses. These are amber lenses. These aim to help with poor sleep, fatigue, and much more. And Bond Charge are made in optics laboratories in Australia, not product factories in Asia. They have stylish frames that have been featured in GQ and Vogue. They're science-backed technology tested to ensure they work. Bond Charge also has a ton of other amazing products to check out on their website. There are easy returns and exchanges and so much more, including rapid worldwide shipping. And Bond Charge is currently having a Black Friday sale with a massive 25% off site-wide until the 30th of November. Just go to bondcharge.com and choose your favorite wellness products and the discount code will be applied automatically at checkout. That's bondcharge.com and the 25% off code will be automatically applied at checkout. I mean, it literally doesn't get any better than this. She said, she said is the name of the movie, is one of the biggest box office flops in history. Despite rave reviews, the film she said's opening weekend box office numbers are cripplingly low. Despite the rave reviews and national acclaim for the Universal Picture film she said uh, received that they received prior to release, the movie's box office numbers are appallingly low. The film went up against some well-anticipated heavy hitters for its launch, giving it stiff competition. The film only made two million dollars on its opening weekend making it one of the worst box office studio releases in history. Fans are not flocking to theaters to see the film, and audiences this holiday season may not want to watch realism portrayed on the big screen. Instead, films that offer escapism are faring well. Shocking! The number one film, the superhero movie Black Panther Wakanda Forever, followed by comedic thriller, horror thriller, The Menu. Horror thriller? Now, let me tell you something. You know what I watched last night? Home Alone. Now, I suppose Home Alone hits differently. If you're like 30 to 50, you're probably in this range or late 20s. And, you know, I hadn't seen it in like a year or two. Awesome. Awesome. Totally holds up. You know what I'm watching tonight? Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Probably going to watch Home Alone 2 as well. There is so much good. There's so many good movies. Uncle Buck, you know, from that era. Wholesome, funny, um, have a positive message, provide some escapism. I mean, and by the way, watched it for free. Well, it was a part of a subscription already that I'm already paying for. But I'm just saying, like, that's the kind of movies people want to see. There's a reason Top Gun Maverick made a zillion dollars, Okay. It's not because the movie was amazing. I mean, it was good, but it was what the people wanted. There's been so many movies throughout history that, like, you know, 
were good, okay, objectively good, but not like the best movie ever. That just ex just made massive box office numbers because it came out at a time when people wanted it. The star-studded cast of She Said features Carrie Mulligan, Zoe Kazan, and Patricia Clarkson. Never heard of any of them. And is directed by Maria Schrader. Never heard of her. That is four women I've never heard of. The script follows a real-life story that, unfortunately, does not seem to draw most audiences. Other female-led storylines, such as this year's release Wonder Woman 1984, have also tanked. That came out this year? What? D Disney's Turning Red animated feature about a young girl going through uh, the change also failed miserably at the box office. The numbers reflect a polarizing shift indicating that moviegoers are not interested in watching heroines struggle. Bull. Loney. No. Incorrect. Moviegoers are not interested in watching propaganda. Parents are not interested in taking their kids to the movies and have some blue-haired weirdo at Pixar teach their kid about the birds and the bees. The She Said storyline details the Harvey scandal in Hollywood and the women affected by um, his bad behavior. Uh, real life uh, person on the receiving it, Ashley Judd, is also featured in the movie. People Magazine reports the actress saying, it was very validating when someone finally wanted to listen to them. Are you joking? These people got the world's biggest megaphone in history. Which spawned a bunch of people uh, making up a bunch of lies, too. Now, I believe that Harvey did the things that he did, and he's where he belongs. Just so everyone's clear. Absolute creep. All right? Absolute predator. All right? Rap Pro, why she said tanked at the box office. I already told you why it did. Here's a box office stat that will chill any studio exec. With a mature awards contender, Terrifier 2, that indie slasher film that grossed $10.5 million in October, currently has a higher total than she said. Oh, Terrifier, man. I remember like I saw the I saw like the thumbnail on like Netflix or something for the first one. I love horror, but I don't like it getting too like gross you know um i like a random like bob or two popping out um uh but like with people getting opened up i'm not a big fan of that um and that movie terrifier went all the way but it was actually like even for someone that doesn't like that i was like this is clearly a good movie you know um so it made temple of it currently has higher total than she said uh, Focus features Tar, Untitled United Artist Till, and Searchlight Pictures, The Banshee of Inishirin, all films predicted by awards gurus to have significant presence on the Oscars nomination list. While those films had different screen count and release strategy, they are all focused on exploring tough issues in today's society, including cancel culture, um, depression, and the me as well movement. Nobody cares about that anymore. We already resolved that. Nobody wants to go back to hashtag believe all women okay we know what that movement was really about yes it got a bad guy outed but we know what it was really about women were out there trying to make their careers by naming and blaming every man in hollywood that they could find and i and like i will say many of them probably were creeps but let's also not pretend that there weren't some people who were willing participants in the quid pro quo that is the casting couch that has existed in Hollywood for a million years. Not that that's okay. Okay? But there are a lot of people out there that, that, that willingly put themselves in that situation and then use this for clout. I don't really, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. It's wrong, obviously, but we can't ignore the fact that in many of these... Now, what Harvey did, that stuff heinous okay but a lot of people were using that movement for clout and a lot of women were lying some were telling the truth even as universal clings to hope that a post theatrical revenue will mitigate its losses she said uh had a 32 million dollar budget before marketing the studio is enjoying success with older audiences via ticket to paradise that movie sucked too 
The lighthearted romantic comedy with Julia Roberts and George Clooney has grossed 61 million domestically and 18 point 158 million worldwide. Sorry. A modest but rare success for an otherwise struggling rom com genre. Along with escapism and comedic tone, it has two genuine movie stars who may be past their Ocean's Eleven box office prime, but still have clout with millions of moviegoers over the age of 45. Fact. By contrast, She Said has no star power. Dude, She Said lost so much money. Let's just say 75 million to break even, and they made two. Two. Yikes. She said tanked at the box office in historic fashion. I mean, I love it. Now the menu, I don't even know about this. People keep talking about it. Maybe I'll watch this. I'll have to check it out. But uh, yeah, feminism still isn't entertaining. And uh, nobody wants to pay to see it. But I'm totally happy to see Hollywood Studio lose a bunch of money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. And we'll talk to you again real soon.